All right, guys, Brent Abel here, goldballhunting.com. Off camera. Yeah, he's right there. You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Jeff Jacklich, Goldball Hunting, and Moss Kimball with uh, the National Men's Senior Tennis Association. So the big question is this. How are tennis players like us who never played in the tour, weren't incredible juniors, or maybe got a late start to the game, how do we consistently compete at our highest skill level without having to grind through endless hours of encore practice time and still be in the hunt for victory match after match? That is the question, and Gold Ball Hunting gives you the answers by helping you eliminate your skill level range so that you build a strong foundation of confidence. My name is Brent Abel, and along with my biz partner, Jeff Jacklich, welcome to Gold Ball Hunting. So, Moss, give us a little bit about, um, you know, why the association was started, how it got going, who were sort of the, the guys that said, you know, what we need to do what the gals are doing because they got their act together, <laughs> you know, with the women's senior thing. <laughs> right. And right. so, um, how did this whole thing get started? I think it was a concern with uh, USTA's, um, shall we say, lack of support of the senior divisions. And, um, shocking, you know, shocking. Well, USA has got a lot of things going on. Um, obviously, a big part of the emphasis is on the juniors. You know, they want to produce another champion, and I'm all for that. Right. But we just felt that uh, just the USTA going along the way they are, they weren't going to pay enough attention. So that was the perception. Uh, I think uh, to a great extent it's correct. And so the National Senior Men's Tennis Association got started. So Jimmy Parker, uh, Steve Duffel, uh, myself, uh, Larry Turville, Ed Tross, and Jerry Thomas mm -hmm. were the original yeah. uh, founders, and uh, we comprise the the board. Yeah, that's cool. So, um, well, it's been going on what a couple years now. Yeah, we're closing in on a second year. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're we're moving in on 800 members. Um, you know, and we've got a, quite a big uh, list of players. And one of our emphasis next year is going to expand that mailing uh, the email list. Terrific. So we'll go after some more people. That's cool. And, and we're, getting, we're getting a steady stream of new members coming in. Okay. So I think word is getting out, so we're very glad. What's, uh, what's the number one benefit of being a member? Um, I think it's, it's, I think one of the greatest, one of the biggest achievements that we've done is introduce this uh, flight doubles. Um, it guarantees every team three matches. You know, um, I think it's, I think it's crazy to travel all the systems, pay for hotels, right. airfare, and you, you, you know possibly right. you, you you play two matches and you're out. Right. You know, so at least with three matches, uh, you know, guys yeah. love it. Yeah. We started yeah. out with uh, three tournaments in the beginning, and I think we're now up to like 18 tournaments that have adapted okay. that format for, for doubles. Right. And there have been a couple of tournaments that have adopted it for singles. So the, so the association is trying to promote that that format as much as possible Yeah. in not only, what, Category 1s, but Category 2s, twos and also and local tournaments and that kind yes. of thing, too. Yes. And the other thing is that we feel strongly, although the tier one players, the players that make it to the semifinals and finals, they're yeah. important to the game, but you have to cater to the tier two and tier three players. Otherwise, you know, the big boys can just go and play their match and <laughs> be done with yeah. it. You know, they get the points. But what's going to keep the tier two and tier three players coming back right. every year to play? Well, they one. got to have matches, right? I mean, they have to have matches, that's right. one thing. They right. want the camaraderie. Right. Right. You want to have a dinner or lunch or something, some amenities. Yeah. And I don't think, you know, some people say, well, you know, they charge too much. I don't think, you know, once you pay for your airfare and hotel, what you pay for an entry fee, it's right. not that much. Right. Right. But you got to show you're giving something for that. Right. right. So, and the good tournaments around the country, they do all those things. Yeah. Uh, you got a question, I, I, I Jeff? Well, you know, just just by you know going to the website and being on the website and the, and the functionality of, of seeing all the tournaments listed is just like to me it's like so great because you can bypass the, the the cumbersome 
feel of the, the, US, the dysfunctionality of the USA of the website. USDA site where every time you're just you're it seems like you're just mucking through the mud to try and find what you want, and you can go to to this site now and just there they are, yeah. and it's just right in front of you, and it just makes it so much more convenient to stay on top of what's happening, what's coming up. So that that's just like to me that's just like gold. You know? Yeah, <laughs> that, we, that's, we, that's you probably know? our um, second biggest page. It's like, yeah, it's hit by uh, people coming it's in. It's just awesome. That. Um, but I agree with you. I think I think that you know, building the the ability to, to have camaraderie at these events because you know Brent, you and I have talked about this forever about that that there's a different uh, culture and a different feel at a tournament than there is in league tennis. You know, right. and this is so unique. And the friendships that are forged in this in this culture, I think, are just like friendships are just like amazing because you, you know you, you, sometimes you know, I mean we're all from different parts of the country. We we fly in or drive in or whatever, and then you've got friends that you only see four times a year. At, at, but they're great, you know. When you come in, it's like you never missed a beat. And you're all hanging out together, having a beer afterwards. And, 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 like, like I said, I, so I think it's just it's it's a great asset that you guys are yeah. using. And, and it's just, Creating the more opportunity for that to happen. So yeah. I just, I, I just like, yay! <laughs> How can we best support you guys? Um, you know, to encourage people to become members. I think as our membership goes up, we have more pull with the USTA. Mm -hmm. I, I think, to USTA's credit, I think they've listened. Uh, they've come to us with ideas and our support for certain things okay. that uh, you know we're, we're happy to support. Um, you know, this whole thing with the USTA and ITF, you know, working it out and, you know, they came to us with, you know, what they wanted to do and we fully supported them. Um, I, not to toot my own horn, but I think it helps that I'm on the adult comp committee and I've tried to introduce some ideas from the National Senior Men's. And I think over the last two years, um, they've listened to a lot of it. And there's some very, very good people on that committee now. And I think the current chair, uh, Chrissy Casamanga, she has done a great job of breaking the committee up into subcommittees. So those subcommittees can really concentrate on certain areas. And then, you know, pretty much what they say, the rest of the committee says, that's fine, because you guys have done the homework. I think that's a brilliant idea, and uh, I think that's helped move things along, you know, rather than the whole committee con considering all these moving parts right. going on. Right. And to USTA's credit, they're aligning a lot of the programs together. Um, you know, I can tell you a little bit about, you know, what the committee is proposing. Um, you know, there won't be Cat 1, Cat 2, Super Cat 2s anymore. It's going to be Level 1, Level 2, Level 3, all the way down to Level 7. So 1, 2, and 3 will be national tournaments, and then 4, 5, 6, 7 will be Which is more of an ITF type of... It's ITF type thing, but it's yeah. easier to understand. Yeah. I talk to a lot of league players, and some of them, you know, I talk to them about playing age group tournaments. Says, yeah, I heard about that. But what's a cat one? What's a cat two? What's a super cat two? I, you know, right. where do I go in and play? And I think the level one to level seven will help that. You know, they'll Good. understand it better. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think uh, they're also starting to move on the marketing end, and you know, cross marketing between leagues and age group tournaments and stuff. So they're starting to pay attention to marketing, and that's very important. That's great. Good. So. Yeah, I got to give USTA some credit. And as you probably know, you know the uh, software is being um, rewritten for running tournaments. Um, I think having heard the initial presentation, I think it's going to be very good. It's going to be a big improvement over our current system. Um, so I I'm very encouraged. Well, like, um, I'm very encouraged. You guys are doing a great <laughs> job with the Men's uh, Senior Association. I know it's a lot of work, and um, someone's got to do it. Well, someone is doing it, yeah. and that's and, and that's really good news. So, Moss, thanks so much, man, for your uh, time and effort on this, and uh, we look forward to you know helping you guys out as much as we can. Yeah, well, let's yeah. help each other out. Spread the word how it works. Cool. Thanks very much. Sure.